What is going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day today. Gold Shell sent us over the brand new Doge 3 Pro, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what this is. It's supposed to have an integrated PSU, so I'm super excited about it. I already cut the tape, so I didn't have to fight my knife on camera. But let's see what she looks like. Ooh, look at that. We got some stickers. Nice, and a little book, whatever that matters. Ooh, check it out. And we got our own logo. Oh, dude, that's sick. Wow, that's like bake painted on. I honestly thought this was going to be a sticker. That's crazy. All right, it comes with a cord that is not for the U.S., but it's okay. I have my own. I'll go get one. Let's, uh, let's get this thing out of the box. Let's check it out. This thing is sick. Look at that. It's got a Wi-Fi adapter as well. This is the Gold Shell Mini Doge 3 Plus. Got the plus symbol. It doesn't say plus, but it is the plus if you're looking for this thing. It actually has the PSU integrated in this box miner, which is very interesting, and it does have a power on off switch, unlike the older units where it would just be a six pin. You know what? Let me go grab one, and we'll compare them side by side. I'll show you the size difference. All right, for size comparisons, this is the original mini Doge Miner. This is actually the Halloween edition. The logo on the side, I love that it's way more vibrant and the box is actually black versus this aluminum color and like it being etched into the aluminum or whatever that is. I honestly don't even know how they did that. It must have been like a, uh, like a, not airbrushed, uh, what am I thinking? Sandblasted or something, I think. I like this much better, uh, but the size comparison, again, this doesn't have a PSU integrated, so that is a huge plus on this machine, and I'm actually glad they did that because it was always a pain in the ass feeding these things with the six pin because more often than not, you'd notice that the six pin right here would end up melting or overheating or pulling too much power for the actual, you know, shitty Amazon cables that people would buy and expect it to work on these things, and it, it honestly just wouldn't work properly. So this is a way better design, at least in my opinion. These did have Wi-Fi, just like uh, this one does, right? And uh, that's obviously a sick feature. I absolutely love that on the other side it's just solely an intake and damn look at the heat sinks in there i'm not going to take this whole thing apart at least in this video if you guys want to see this taken apart let me know in the comments below and we can rip this apart at some point but i'm actually super excited this is the first time i've ever had a logo on an asic miner so shout out to gold shell for uh doing that for me that's pretty cool I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get this thing plugged in. Let's uh, do like a wattage meter. I'm gonna plug it in over there on the counter. I'll get the uh, ethernet ran to it and we'll, uh, we'll see what it pulls. All right, all plugged in, ready to go. I actually pulled another ethernet cable from the, uh, the basement, just kind of ran it up the stairs because I'm gonna use this ethernet to plug into my laptop so we can actually get access to the IP on this thing in my Ubiquiti system. But nonetheless, everything's plugged in. Let's see what we get for wattage. Three, two, one. Nice little blue light in there. There we go. She powered up for like half a second. You know what? I lied. I think my Ethernet cable's not plugged in downstairs. All right. Let me go shut this off. Let's go check the cable. Ah, the Ethernet cable wasn't plugged in all the way. All right. I had a coupling connecting two cables, and uh, it wasn't pushed in together. So now let's see what we get for wattage and hash rate. All right. So we're looking at 456 watts or so. This thing seems like it's uh, up and running. It's only been up and running for about a minute, but it's uh, stupid quiet. Obviously, the ambient temperature in here is way cooler than it would be like in the crypto mining solar trailer or something along those lines. This thing pumps out some serious heat, but as of right now, we're at 502 watts. I've seen it go up to 550 over here on the computer. I uh, want to show you guys a few things. So on my initial like mini Doge video, uh, it's a very old video, but I show you guys how to do this. Uh, more or less, for one, you got to change it from Chinese to English because it is in Chinese when you first open it up. Um, then you're going to have to unlock the unit, right? The username by default is admin, and then it is one through nine, okay, to get into... Uh, the unit and then you're gonna hit unlock okay I just I don't save that crap then what you do is add the miner if you're using f2 pool you can use that 8888 right or you could just go to your f2 pool and copy and paste the uh, URL you're gonna have to put in your login name right and then you can put a period and then name the unit whatever you want to after that and then once you apply that you're gonna have to grab the 
shovel here and drag it up above the first one that was already applied, right? So I'm going to remove this just because I don't need it anymore, but they were mining to SH miner, whatever that is, uh, a DX pool. So we're going to remove that. Now you can see it's just chump change XD dot mini doge pro. And then this is the stratum. I use the three, 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 five for my LTC, right? Um, now we're going to go over to, let's go to home. Let's see what we're getting. So right now, it only says 182 mega hashes. What in the hell? That thing was, oh, all right. Well, it's climbing up a little bit, but nonetheless, you guys could see this uh, thing here, right? We're getting upwards of 845. Again, this has only been running for about five or 10 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go over to F2 pool. We're going to see, you guys can see, I got the mini Doge Pro right there. It's registering right now at 357 mega hashes. Let me just refresh. All right, so 703, as you can see. Again, it hasn't been up very long, but 500 and something watts. Let's go back over here and just look. You guys can see we're at 545 as of right now. And this is on hash rate mode, if I'm not mistaken. Let's just double check the gold shell over here. Sorry that I'm not like actually in the computer and I'm pointing the camera at the computer. I know it's hard to see, but you can see hash rate mode. When you unlock it, you have hash rate mode and you have low power mode. So now that I've tried hash rate mode, I want to try low power mode and see what this actually does. You can see 659 mega hashes it shows. As of right now, you can see it's kind of leveling off. And if we look over at the pool, we have the Mini Doge Pro 584 mega hashes, which isn't too bad actually considering the wattage. Looking over here, we're at about 303 watts. Not too bad, 303 and a half or so. I actually saw this go down below 300, which is pretty nice for this unit. All right, so we've seen what this thing can do wattage and hash rate wise. Now let's get downstairs in my actual computer and let's do some uh, math and see if this thing's actually worth purchasing. All right, so this is Gold Shell's website. You can see the Gold Shell Mini Doge 3 Plus. Again, they sent me this unit over for review, so huge shout out to them. This is a $759 machine. Might be a little steep, at least for somebody like in my position with a 30 cent electric rate. It's just a little much, but again, if the price of Doge does move up from where it's at close to 77 cents that was its all-time high. It's at like 12 cents now, so it definitely could be profitable eventually, but Right now, it's not for me, but we'll go over all that in just a second. But let's look here at the specifications and just see how close we actually came to all this. So the default hash rate mode is 810 mega hashes, and we saw just about that at 500 watts. We saw a spike up to 550 watts, to be honest. Again, 120 volts is definitely more resistance versus 240 volts. So it is going to be a bit more efficient to run it off 240 versus 120. Low power mode, we saw just about 640-ish mega hashes, right? Uh, the low power mode wattage is about 300 and that was pretty much right on the nose. It was about 303 to 299 I saw kind of moving back and forth. But nonetheless, this is all pretty legit for what they have. And it's all plus or minus 5%, right? Typically, it's plus or minus 10, but here, I guess it's a little tighter. Uh, the algorithm, again, is script. LTC, Doge, and Bells is something you can mine on this. I think you can triple mine on this. I might be wrong there. I might be wrong. I've never mined Bells, so I don't know. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong, but this can mine LTC, Doge, and Bells overall, regardless if it's together. I guess it says dual mode. I don't know what that means. Connection port, dual mode. Not really sure what that means, but nonetheless, it does have Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Anyways, let's get into the price of uh, Dogecoin over here real quick. So again, what I was saying is if the price of Dogecoin rises, which I believe absolutely will in the next bull run, we're at 12 cents as of right now. And if you guys look back in 2021, this is when we hit that 77 all-time high. Oh, sorry, 73 cent all-time high, 83.3% down about three years ago, right? When we get to the bull run during like the end of this year, 2025-ish, there is no chance we're going to see this thing go lower than it's, you know, where it's at right now. So that's just my opinion. I think we're going to at least get close to the all-time high, maybe 40 50 cents just range around there right that's probably where i'm thinking but uh that could be worth it if that was the case right now just checking over at mine the asic go to the gold shell mini doge 3 
650 mega hashes at 400 watts is that not the one that's not the one uh the plus right here duh i'm literally right above it 810 mega hashes at 500 watts 759 bucks again that might be a little steep to only make 19 cents a day and this is after 10 cents per kilowatt hour so after you pay your electric rate 19 cents is your profit right um obviously if you have a zero electricity cost let's just go see what that's at oh you know what? i'm just gonna type it in because that would be way easier i don't know why i'm doing this to myself uh mini doge i'm just gonna say mini doge because it'll all pop up uh right here all right so you'll make a dollar 39 a day if you have zero electricity costs which most people probably don't so the uh roi or the break even time on that is 133 months that is freaking awful damn <laughs> all right let's let's scroll up uh anyways let's just see first shits this is gonna be really bad but my electric rate 30 cents no joke that's why i do solar content because i have to and this thing will be in the solar trailer but the mini doge plus right here 810 mega ashes i'm losing two dollars and 21 cents per day mining on this unit so obviously someone in my position this is not worth it but if you don't have any electricity costs or you are a big fan of dogecoin possibly it might be worth it right obviously you get a little bit of ltc as well because it is uh merge mining litecoin and doge but yeah i don't know you guys could be the judge if it's if it's worth it to you or not i mean i love the fact that gold shell you know put my logo on this machine it's pretty awesome i think it's cool um is that a reason to buy it probably not it's just one of those things it's each his own if you like mini box miners you want a wi-fi unit that has a psu integrated that is a big plus to this thing the psu is usually a pain in the ass and the other mini doges the the original ones that you could probably buy on ebay right the ones that i have i have like six of them out in the trailer that are all off just because they're not profitable again uh but the fire hazard with those six pins and the amount of power they draw it's like it pushes the limits of those cables and i have seen them melt inside the six pins and just the wire itself from the heat and drawing that much power so again the the integrated psu is a very good feature in this thing so you guys can't really look past that that's probably worth a hundred or so bucks in itself so even at a 659 dollar range this would be better off a bit cheaper but you guys could be the judge of that so let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below this unit again it's a, an extremely nice unit i love that it's all in one with the psu and everything i don't have to worry about the six pin like you did on the back of this old one uh but is it worth the money again i'm gonna leave that up to you guys to figure out at my rate unfortunately it's not but this thing's gonna be going in the crypto mining solar trailer super excited about that huge shout out to gold shell for sending this thing over again low power mode just about 300 watts just over 304 as of right now and we are averaging a hash rate of 648, which is amazing. So almost 650 mega hashes, guys. Have a good day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.